Welcome to our lesson about working with flexible tubing. Here I've already created an assembly. Let's go to the tubing tab. Activate the start by drag drop tool. First, let's select a tube fitting. I'll grab and drag this straight fitting. Now SolidWorks prompts me to select a configuration. I'm going to use a quarter inch by quarter inch configuration. The first value here, 0.25, represents the tube diameter. The second number here, 0.25, is the nominal thread size. NPT is an acronym that stands for National Pipe Thread, or Tapered Thread. Let's click OK. Here under Base Configuration, I'm going to use a wall thickness of 0.01. And let's check this box here, use flexible hoses. Now let's say I made a mistake and forgot to check this box. Let's leave it unchecked. I'm going to show you how to recover later on. Bend radius, let's enter a value of one inch. And we're ready to click OK. Let's bring in a second fitting, another straight fitting, same configuration, and click OK. And we'll exit. Now to the Sketch tab. Select the Spline tool. I'm going to connect these two points using a spline. SolidWorks gives me a warning. You must enable the flexible route option to use splines. Do we want to turn enable this option now? I guess they mean do we want to enable this option? We do, so I clicked yes. Now we can adjust the spline points. And we can apply dimensions as well. Let's exit the sketch. Okay, let's go to our tree and take a look at the route. Right click and select Route Properties. We can see that Use Flexible Hoses is now checked. Let's say we chose the wrong hose size. Let me show you how to fix that. We'll right click on our route. Edit Route. I'm now in Sketch Editing Mode. I'm going to right-click on the sketch, and then select Change Route Diameter. As we know, the tube diameter is driven by the specification of the first connection point. If I uncheck the Driving option, we are limited to a selection of fittings with the same pipe size. Let's check Driving. And I'm going to use a half inch pipe. Down here, we need to select a configuration for the second fitting. Right now, we've got a single configuration, but if I, for example, choose a quarter inch pipe, we'll have three available configurations. We can also change the bend radius. Let me just scroll down to the bends section. And under pipes is where we can select wall thickness. Let's click OK. This concludes our lesson about creating a route using flexible tubing.